The arrival of the Black Fleet sparked great turmoil in the last city. Many of our people feared that a second collapse was imminent. The Witness took advantage of that fear. It promised power to all those worthy of it, in the form of stasis, setting off a race to Europa. We could never have imagined what awaited us on that frozen moon. We had always believed darkness itself to be inextricably linked with our enemy. Its power, a path to inevitable violence and grief. But there were those, like Elsie Bray, who understood that what we call darkness is a neutral force. Like the light, it could be a powerful tool for good in the right hands. If we were brave enough to question our beliefs. Aramis's presence on Europa is not happenstance. Temptation set the wheels in motion, but obsession propelled her here. To destroy the light with an army of darkness, she and her followers make those selfish choices moment to moment. Humanity relies on our selfless acts to bring about a better world. Darkness is no more than a tool with which we do so.
Inside us all is the strength to control darkness. We need only look inward and remember why we're here. Armed with guidance and resolve, Guardians took up the power of stasis without succumbing to the Witness's corruption. Our understanding of the darkness expanded. Darkness is a part of our universe, a natural force. We wield it in defense of the last city. We challenged many of our assumptions in the days that followed. Where once we saw only eternal foes, we discovered allies against a common threat. And amongst our closest friends, old enemies lay waiting. Hidden away in the last city, the Hive God Savathun prepared her greatest trick yet. That's all I'm saying. Of the many enemies arrayed against the last city, few were more dangerous than Savathun, Hive God of Cunning. We dealt with her forces in the past, but her cruelest trick was infiltrating the Vanguard itself in the guise of one of our own, the Warlock Osiris. Her scheming led to something we once believed impossible. Lucent Hive, Raised by ghosts, now wielded the light against us. Our only hope was to uncover just how Savathun had stolen the light. To do that, we would have to battle our way through her throne world. A realm of illusions and deceit. With the Witch Queen involved, nothing could be taken for granted. This high sword will be just as useful as the last one. Now we need to find a lock to smash open. The Witch Queen may have recast her realm in a loosened sheen, but remnants of dark architecture still lurk underneath. And the Guardian's new ability reveals these hidden remnants. Yes, Ikora explained. Why can't we use the light to achieve the same result? The light may be a powerful force. But when dealing in illusions, it has proven insufficient. It is the mind that must bend to see the truths hidden here. Thus, only darkness can show the way. My only fear is where that way will lead us in the end.
its focus. To find the way forward, we need a sword and something to smash with it. very well be the clue we've been looking for. The crystal revealed to us what we had refused to imagine. The Traveler itself granted Savathun the light. It reached out to our greatest foe, and offered grace. For many, this marked a time of great uncertainty, a betrayal. Facing the truth and coming to terms with our doubts strengthened the vanguard for the fight ahead. Whatever the traveler's motivations, in the end, we had to rely on each other. Ironically, it was Savathun, Hive God of Deception, who revealed the true face of our common enemy, the voice in the darkness, and the architect of humanity's collapse, the witness. Osiris's time under Savathun's thrall granted him a glimpse of a secret that she withheld from the witness for centuries. A powerful artifact known as the Veil was hidden away on the planet Neptune. With Savathun off the board, the Witness would soon arrive to launch its assault against the Traveler. Armed with this vital secret, we now had a fighting chance. <laughs>